Yesterday in the news, there was reports of an outbreak of cases of glioblastoma within Major League Baseball players playing on the Philadelphia Phillies. This came after David West passed away from glioblastoma, which is an aggressive form of brain cancer, and he pitched for the Philadelphia Phillies from 93 to 96. This makes the sixth Philadelphia Phillies player to pass away from this very aggressive type of brain cancer. Now, the interesting part about this is that five out of the six are either pitchers or catchers. As a neurosurgeon, I treat glioblastoma, and it is a very scary diagnosis. Treatment is surgery plus chemo and radiation, and the prognosis is grim for long-term survival. So what causes this dangerous, deadly brain cancer? We really don't fully understand all the causes, but we do know that there are some environmental risk factors as well as some genetic risk factors. We would assume in cluster outbreaks such as this that there is some environmental component to this. Now, what's really interesting is that earlier this month, there was this in the news about this New Jersey high school with a large cluster outbreak of glioblastoma as well. And just to give you an idea, in the natural population, about three per 100,000 people will develop glioblastoma. In this high school, it was more than 330 times that rate. And then in Philadelphia Phillies players, it's four times the natural rate. So clearly, there's something going on here. Now, what I also find very interesting is I search the distance between Veterans Stadium, where the Phillies play, and Colonia High School in New Jersey, and they're only about an hour and a half apart. Now, what does this mean? We do know that there are some environmental risk factors with glioblastoma, so I hope that these news reports will generate some speculation and investigation into these cluster outbreaks so we can hopefully identify some environmental factors that may be related in these cases and help us identify more about the development of glioblastoma and risk factors with glioblastoma.